The news where well, it has been a year a truly incredible for India's space mission and the Indian Space Agency will ring in the new year now with a unique and rare launch as it gears up to launch India's first space-based astronomy observatory to study black holes and neutron stars. It is a bit to understand the end of life stars and why do they still shine after their deaths. Yes, our stars also die and our own sun is also expected to die after 5 billion years. Pallav Bagla has more. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, is getting ready for the launch of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, which will send the ExpoSat or the satellite which will study black holes and neutron stars into space. This will be the 60th launch of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. The ExpoSat satellite has been made by Indian scientists. And these satellites will specially study black holes, neutron stars, and what happens towards the end of life of stars. There is only one other satellite of this very unique kind which was sent in 2021 by NASA of America. So it will be India's satellite which will be very unique and they give back information which scientists want to understand the end of life of the universe and end of life of stars. Alongside, on this 60th mission of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, the Indian Space Research Organization is also conducting a very unique experiment on the fourth stage of the rocket. Usually, after the fourth stage, has performed its job by launching the satellite in space. It then converts into space debris, and in a few months, it falls back onto Earth and gets burnt up. But this time, the Indian Space Research Organization is using the fourth stage of the rocket to conduct experiments in space. The fourth stage, when it is used like this, is called POEM. And this poem will carry 10 different experiments, some of them from Indian startups and some of them from the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center in Trivandrum. This Sri S. Somana, chairman of ISRO, told me was ISRO in a way converting waste to wealth. So the fourth stage, which would usually get exhausted in space and get burnt up is going to be kept alive and then experiments will be conducted using that platform. One such experiment being done is being sent up by the university which has a women's led university and a women's satellite which has been made by students and uh, educationists from the University in Tiruvannathapuram. This women-led initiative is very unique and will study climate change and ultraviolet radiation using the POEM platform. The other experiments which are being going to be conducted on the POEM are use of green propellants, which is going to be done by Bellatrix Aerospace Private Limited and India's startup from Hyderabad. Ruwa Space Limited is also going to be conducting some experiments on micro satellites. So the world is looking forward to the launch of the ExpoSat using the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle and all eyes are also on this unique poem experiment which India is conducting. In a way, the use of the Fourth stage as an experimental platform is really waste to wealth and is really a low cost sky lab or a low cost non human space station which the Indian Space Research Organization is doing. So the ExpoSat would explore the universe and the poem will write new experiments as it goes up into space. India 
is looking forward to a, another successful launch by the Indian Space Research Organization. In New Delhi, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.